all right y'all so let's get into this wig i know you see it that 30 inch bust down no cap but yeah y'all i'm finna review it for y'all and subscribe to Faye good morning y'all i'm is given so overall the inside construction I give it a, a good 10 it looks good honestly I'm proud of the fact that it has a good parting space I can put that in the side part or a middle part or whatever but then I'm gonna get into the the plucking the plucking is I mean for it to be out the box it's decent. The plucking is, I give it a good seven. Honestly, it's decent. It's not, it doesn't look like real good, but it doesn't really look, look bad. Like, I don't know. Let me see what I'm putting on my hand. I mean, it's not as full as the other ones be, so it look good to me. So, really, I take the seven at, it gives us a six, like, cool six. But the density of the hair is definitely thick. I like the density and I'm gonna really like I like it, but the, the knots, can y'all see that? The knots. I mean, it really won't look that bad once I put it on my head, so the knots. They're not bleached. I'm just gonna be real. I'm not gonna rate that because you can see them. But when I put it on my head, you're not gonna see them though. So overall, I give this wig a good eight. Yeah, it's a good eight. Would I buy it? Definitely. For the price range, definitely. Honestly. Yeah, I'm finna install it. I uh, so I don't know why they be adding like this little lace back here. If anybody knows why, please tell me because I just feel like it's unnecessary. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut this off because I feel like yeah, what the hell? I need my 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 wig to be different. You see some lace in the back, like right? what is this even for? I'm be real. Let me just see. It's a little. Oh, it's kind of a little tight. I gotta loosen it up. Before I do the arm, I don't know what I'm about to say. <laughs> Y'all do it all the time. <laughs> I remember it a second. This is out of this world. Come on. Don't 
leaving too much weight. So it look like, I'm just gonna kind of sleep where it started. all right y'all so i'm about to get into putting the wig on i'm just using my got to be ultra glue gel to lay down my edges and i'm blow drying them just so they stay and then i'm put the cap on this is an hd cap i also did want to review like the wig after a couple of days so that's why it's been taking me a long time to drop this but basically I kind of want to take my rating back down a little bit probably to like a 7.5 because honestly the hair just like I feel like just because it's colored and treated so harshly that it just felt kind of a little bit dry so if you get that wig you might have to do like a silicone mix treatment or I really I'm not gonna lie she do have some good wigs like I am going to drop the link to this other glueless wig. You can watch my review for that. And honestly, I feel like that wig is way better. Like, I am not going to lie. I really like that wig. And I, I really give it like a 10 out of 10. I don't think I rated it on all the scales that I did in this video. But you could just see how easy that wig was to put on. And it was really like ready to go out the box. The only thing would be that it was, it was black. It didn't have any color, but I think that's kind of what messed up the quality of the hair. But it wasn't bad. This wasn't a bad wig. I actually wore it for more than a couple of days. So it's not really that bad. But honestly, if you're looking for something that's quality and you're not concerned about, like, I don't think it's even that much of a price difference. But honestly, I have a discount code that's in my caption below with the wig. So I'm never going to make y'all just like get it for a price because I have a coupon code. So y'all, that's really just my rear spill on this wig. This is how I cut my lace. I basically cut it in like a zigzag motion so that you can't see the straight line on my forehead. But I feel like overall... I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I ain't never been no capper. Like, I don't really get no percentage of this shit. Like, I just been doing this shit because I have a relationship with she. I don't even get no percentage of none of the sales, which is kind of like, you know, greedy. But we're not going to speak on that. Honestly, I don't get paid for this. I just get the wigs. And I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I don't give a fuck if they don't send me another wig tomorrow. Like, baby, I'm going to still do my hair. My hair going to be done. And to be real, I hate putting these wigs on. I'm not even going to lie. But I just got to do it just because this is what I want to do. I'm not going to lie. I want to do my hair on YouTube. I want to teach y'all how to do y'all hair. I want to teach y'all and show y'all what not to spend y'all money on and what to spend y'all money on. And I'm be real. This wig is good. I will wear it. Honestly, I probably will end up putting it back on my head. It wasn't that bad. But if you guys want a higher quality wig from Sheen, then I can drop that below in the caption. And you can watch my review for that also. I will have that link below in the caption. But y'all, I'm just installing this wig. And to be real, it did have to take a, a lot more work, like plucking it and creating my part. The other wig had a part and it also had like plucking and it was also glueless. It, the lace was already cut. It had a band. So if y'all are interested in like a ready to wear wig, then I can definitely point you in the direction on scene. But this was more of a wig that required more work. So as you can see now, I'm just like using my wax stick and I'm just hot combing it. I'm making my part and I'm going to use my mousse and my water. And y'all had to go get a new brush because I lost it. But then I end up finding like I hate when I lose something and then I end up finding it like y'all. But I do have like a kind of like a spaced out brain. Like, I don't be thinking about nothing. Like I don't know how that's funny, but I don't be thinking about nothing. But sometimes I be thinking about something. But all right, I'm finna start rambling. So right now I'm just parting off my edges and I'm gonna um put the rest of my hair back and I'm gonna hot comb it and I'm gonna pluck it a little bit just to make it look more realistic. But overall, I really hope y'all like this. 
um, review of this wig and I hope you guys value my honest opinion because I don't have to lie for no company that's not paying me and I just feel like honestly I'm gonna keep it real with y'all over anything so I hope you guys feel like my review reflects this wig and I just want to know what else you guys want to see you can comment below like comment subscribe for me i really appreciate the engagement on my content and i love you guys and i can't wait to review more wigs and also just show y'all more hairstyles and how to do them but now this is the wig after i did the edges and stuff and i'm just gonna wet it and put the mousse in it and i'm gonna keep it pushing one thing i will say that's positive about this wig is that it is definitely true to length because this is like a 26 inch and it was all the way to my butt and y'all i don't know if y'all know but i am 5'11 so i'm tall and i also wanted to give you guys some tips on how i be like melting my lace so basically i get concealer and i put it in my part and if I go over the part, I'll just use like a rag to wipe off the extra concealer that I got everywhere. And I'll also use the little Got To Be spray. That I just spray on my finger and then I place it on the lace. And you can use our blow dryer on cool just to make sure that it's dry or whatever. I really hope you guys like this install and overall the review. So yeah, thank you for watching.